Let's look at the settings options for your Google Form. Click on the settings cog in the upper right hand corner. There are three tabs across the top, general, presentation, and quizzes. We're going to focus on general in this video. By default, if you are signed into a Google domain account like our CCSD one, this box is automatically checked to restrict to users in Clark County School District. This is great when you are having students take a form and you want to make sure that they're logged in as themselves. If you click on limit to one response, it means once they've logged in with that student account and have submitted this form, they can't submit another one. This is great when you are doing like voting, um, if you're trying to get an opinion poll and you only want them to be able to answer one time, perhaps you're doing a quiz and you don't want them to be able to log in, take the test and then take it a second time. Perhaps you do allow them, so you'd want to uncheck that. So these are different options that you have with this here. I'm going to uncheck this box to show how we would use this if we're wanting to send it out to parents or the community. You have the option to collect email addresses. If you check this box, let me click save, you'll see all it does is it adds a question to your form for email address and requires them to input an email address. It does not verify that it is a real email address. So they technically could put in any email address that they want here. So let's look at another option. If you check this box limit to one response, it will require them to log into a Google account in order to take your survey. So just think about your audience and what you're wanting to require in order for them to complete this survey. So I'm going to uncheck this box. Response receipts. If you check this box, you have two options. If the respondent requests it or always. What this means is that after they click on submit, they will automatically receive an email letting them see that they have taken this form and it sends them their answers. So you can choose to always send it. You can choose to at the end when they click submit, it asks them if they want to receive an email of their response or you can uncheck it and they don't have this option at all. That is up to you. The final section underneath general is to edit after submit. So if you check this box, what will happen is once they click on submit, they'll see a link right away in that window that says, do you want to edit your responses? They have to click on that link right then to get it in order to go in and edit their responses. This option here, see summary charts and text responses, means that when they submit their form, they're able to then click on a link that allows them to see everyone else's responses. So be very careful with this option because if you are asking for personal information, you should never check this box because then basically you're allowing all viewers who submit this form to see everyone else's personal information. So be very careful with this option here. The final option I just want to show you real quick underneath presentation is this confirmation message. When people submit a form to you, they get a default message that says your response has been recorded. You can actually type your own personal message in here. You can even add a link to send them to something else after they submit their form. So keep this option in mind as well. And then you can also by default, this show link to submit another response is checked. If you know that you don't want them to complete this form a second time, you can just uncheck this box and then they won't see that option. So those are some of the general form settings to get started with that you need to make a decision on what you want to do.